Hey, this is Eric with Techno RV, and in this information video, I'm going to compare the TST 507 tire pressure monitoring system cap sensor to the 507 flow through sensor. And I hope by the end of the video that this will help you in determining which sensor is right for your particular situation. And remember, you can always get the TST systems at technorv.com. The TST 507 tire pressure monitoring system offers two different sensors. Uh, one is the flow through sensor and one is the cap sensor. Uh, the obvious is that the flow through sensor here allows you to air up your tires through the sensor without taking the sensor off of the valve stem. The cap sensor you would need to take off of the valve stem uh, in order to air up the tires and then you would just put the cap sensor back on. Uh, let's go through other differences uh, about these two and other things that are the same. Uh, let's talk about measurements. On the flow through sensor it is 2.2 inches long from here to here. It is one inch wide from here to here and it is 0.9 inches high which is going to be basically from the bottom to the top here. The cap sensor is 1.2 inches from here to here and the diameter from here across is 0.9 of an inch. So that's your measurements there as far as these two are concerned. Weight, there is a little bit of a weight difference. The cap sensor is 15.4 grams and the flow through sensor is 22 grams, both under an ounce uh, and there is no need to rebalance uh, your tires with either one of these. Uh, as far as the PSI range uh, is the same for these two. Uh, it's from 0 to 218 PSI with an accuracy of plus or minus 3 PSI. The operating temperature range for both of these is from negative 40 Fahrenheit to 176 degrees Fahrenheit with an accuracy of plus or minus 3 degrees. So you should be covered in any uh, weather conditions. They are both pressure activated. This means that whenever you screw these onto the valve stems, they're activated. So whenever you turn the monitor on, it'll automatically start broadcasting information forward to the monitor. Both of them are going to broadcast the PSI of each tire position, and it's going to also let you know what the temperature of each tire position is as well. A lot of other systems on the market are not pressure activated. You actually have to start moving before you get information. Uh, TST is pressure activated, which is much better. Both of these uh, sensors uh, have a battery in them and the battery compartment for the flow through is just right here on the top. You would just take these two screws out and both of them take a CR1632 uh, battery. For the cap sensor, you would just take these three screws out here and uh, that would expose a cap that you would then uh, unscrew to see the battery. I've got other videos on the Techno RV YouTube channel that shows you how to change the batteries out on these, but both of them take a CR1632. They both have uh, anti-theft features. The cap sensor uh, comes with a tool and uh, you basically just put the, the claw tool around this and use this to put it onto the valve stem. Then if someone tries to take it off, it will just spin. Very nice anti-theft feature there. The flow-through sensor has an anti-theft measure as well. And uh, you'll have a brass nut for each uh, flow-through sensor. And this will go onto your valve stem first. And then you would screw this onto the valve stem after it. And then there is a claw tool that you would use to then tighten the brass nut up against the uh, flow-through sensor 
so that you would not be able to take that off. And uh, I have other videos on our Techno RV YouTube channel that show uh, me using the anti-theft measures here. So another question we get asked is, uh, can either of these go on to any type of valve stem? And uh, the flow-through sensor here needs to go on to a metal valve stem. Uh, the cap sensor here uh, can go on either uh, rubber valve stems or metal valve stems. Uh, so keep that in mind. Flow through needs to go on metal. Cap sensor can go on either one. Uh, the other thing that we get asked is can you mix and match these two? Uh, for example, uh, could I put uh, the flow through sensors, say, on my motorhome and put the cap sensors on my tow vehicle? And the answer is yes. Uh, you can definitely do that. We do recommend that you always use a cap sensor uh, for a tow vehicle. Oftentimes tow vehicles uh, will have rubber valve stems, uh, but in addition they usually have shallower wheel wells and uh, we just find that the uh, that works better since this one uh, has a uh, shallower profile. So now that you know everything you need to know about each TST sensor, the flow through and the cap, how do you choose which one's best for you? Well, this is really just a preference thing. For me personally, I use flow through sensors on my motor home and I use cap sensors on my tow vehicle. When I used to be in a fifth wheel, I ran cap sensors on my truck and flow through sensors on my fifth wheel, although I know plenty of people with fifth wheels that uh, use cap sensors all the way around. If I was in a smaller towable, uh, then I would use cap sensors all the way around just because they're a lower profile. But there's some things that you can do to just answer some questions to maybe make it a little bit clearer for you. There's a lot of different uh, valve stem configurations out there. And so the first thing that I would do when I'm trying to make this decision on which sensor is right for your situation is I would just look at the valve stems. Uh, many valve stems uh, may be hard to get to. Uh, maybe they come through the wheels and the, the holes are really small. Uh, maybe they have extenders, maybe they have internal facing, whatever. You just need to go take a look at it. And based on this information you've learned in this video, first determine which sensor would just fit better. It may be either one of them. Uh, but once you've made that decision on what would just fit better on your RV, tow vehicle, whatever it is, uh, from there, uh, step two is I would then just ensure that uh, the valve stems are either uh, rubber or metal. Uh, so if they're metal, then you can use uh, the flow-through sensor or the cap sensor. If they're rubber valve stems, uh, then the decision's made for you. You need to use the cap sensors for that. Okay, step three, uh, first of all, step one and two, you, you may already have your decision, but let's say uh, that you've got metal valve stems, uh, you've got plenty of room, so you could really use the cap or the flow-through sensor. Uh, at this point, it really does just come down to uh, preference. Uh, if you like the idea of a lower profile uh, sensor that doesn't stick out quite as far, then obviously you're going to want the cap sensor. Uh, if you uh, just love that feature of the flow through, being able to air up that tire through the sensor without taking it off, uh, then obviously get the flow through sensor. I will say uh, again that we do recommend on tow vehicles uh, that you do use the cap sensors. Most tow vehicles uh, have rubber valve stems and those wheel wells are a lot shallower. And uh, so we like to see those cap sensors on tow vehicles. Also keep in mind that you can mix and match these. Uh, we've kind of discussed this before, but uh, like me, I use the flow through sensors on my motorhome, cap sensors on my tow vehicle. So if you find yourself in a situation that uh, you could mix and match those and you like that configuration, then go for it. I hope this video has been helpful for you to learn everything there is to know about these two different type sensors from TST and I hope it makes it a little bit easier as you make your decision on uh, which sensors to get with your TST system. 
So buy your TST system from TechnoRV.com and you'll get low prices, free shipping, and also it's the only place to where you'll get the Techno RV Learning Series. We've made a good number of videos that walks you through each and every step of the installation process to make sure that you are successful with your TST system. So go to TechnoRV.com and get your TST system today.